Hi everyone, this is Lahiri from ABC's of Anesthesia. And today, what I want to go through is how to put local anesthetic into the skin. Now this is a really basic technique, but something that's so worthwhile, especially if it's appropriately within your scope of practice, it can really be amazing as a technique to help decrease the pain of putting in a needle for your patients. Now what I'll do is I'll generally put local in the skin for anywhere from an 18 gauge or larger cannula. So that means 18 gauge, 16 gauge or 14 gauge, especially any RIC lines or central lines. I mostly find that the 20 gauge and the 22 gauges aren't that painful and so it's probably not worth doing two needles in that circumstance. That said, sometimes a patient is very anxious Maybe the cannula needs an ultrasound guided technique, and maybe it's a difficult insertion of some sort. And in those cases, I have a low threshold of using local with a very tiny 30 gauge needle or 27 gauge needle. So the first thing I do is choose the right vein. So if this patient here has a fantastic cephalic vein, and we're gonna do a demonstration later of a 14 gauge large cannula insertion. So completely appropriate that I put local anesthetic in the skin for this. Now the things I need for this is really quite simple. I just need a syringe, local anesthetic, and a needle. So the syringe that I choose is just a small two or three mil syringe. And it just means that this is just really easy to hold and I have the right amount of dexterity when I'm using it. I usually choose 1% or 2% lignocaine. That's all you really need. It's fast onset and doesn't last too long. It's a really safe local anesthetic to use. Now the needle I choose is really a fine needle. It's either 25 gauge, 27 gauge, or 30 gauge, depending on what's available to me. For example, many hospitals won't have a 30 gauge, in which case I'll just use a 27 or a 25. And it doesn't matter which needle you use, it's much smaller and less painful to insert local anesthetic with this needle than to insert a large 14 gauge needle. So before I inject the local anesthetic in the skin, I choose the site. So here I've got a really great cephalic vein and I'm going in a reasonably distal site. So my site of entry of my needle will be about here. Now I've got two options for the injection of the local anesthetic. I, I can either go over the vein or just to the side. I think a lot of people when they're starting out might put it to the side because you don't want any risk of puncturing that vein. What I do in my practice is I actually go over the vein, but I'm being really, really careful not to go too far in. So I go just subcutaneously and as soon as I'm in, I inject. I find that if I go to the side, I need to give far more volume of local anesthetic to make sure that it diffuses across to the insertion area. So I'm now going to start injecting the local anesthetic. I just uncap my needle. I steady all my surfaces. Again, I'm anchoring my little finger, multiple fixation points. And I go really steady. Sometimes I'll let the syringe rest on my thumb as well to make sure that I get that just right. I'm having a really low angle of entry. As soon as I get into the skin, I inject. You'll notice I don't need to inject too much. You'll see a blanching across the skin. That blanching means that you're going exactly in the right spot. And I won't put too much. Right there, I've put probably 0.1 mil of 1% lignocaine. It's really not much at all. And that point of insertion, that's exactly where I'm going to go in with my 14 gauge cannula. Now, because I used a very tiny 30 gauge needle and I didn't put much local anesthetic at all, that means that this injection really wasn't that painful. The pain on injection of local anesthetic is usually related to the size of the needle. So it's a 30 gauge, it's really small, and the volume which expanded the tissues. And this was only 0.1 of a mil of local anesthetic. So really, it shouldn't have been much pain with that injection. And it'll be far easier to do the 14 gauge cannula now. 